This video contains a numerical solution on the last tangent. We have seen in our earlier discussions that there could be two possible currents in a medium, conduction current and displacement current. This problem is based on them only. Let us go through the problem. A circular cross section conductor. So there is a conductor of circular cross section of radius 1.5 millimeter radius 1.5 ml carries a current of I. So it's mentioned here I. Now the question is, is it a conduction current? Of course, yes. Generally, when we say current, it is conduction current only. So we can take it as IC, which is 5.5 sine of 4 into 10 power 10 T and see microamps 10 power minus 6 amps the current find the amplitude of the displacement current density so what we want is density not the current so the displacement current density nothing but displacement current density you want only amplitude so complete equation is not needed here if sigma is equal to 35 mos per meter so mos per meter and epsilon r is given as 10 so making use of these values we can find displacement current density, but given is conduction current density. So we need to have a relation between conduction current and displacement current for this one. We know that conduction current density is given by the Ohm's law in point form, sigma e. Displacement current density is given by the time differentiation of electric flux density. D is our epsilon times electric field. And we know that for any sinusoidal variation, this current is also sinusoidally varying. If for any sinusoidal variations, we can replace dou by dou t as j omega in complex domain. So we have two equations for JC and JD, but both in terms of electric field. E and we, if we take the ratio of them, what happens? Sigma E by J omega epsilon E. If E get canceled minus J sigma by omega epsilon. So here minus J stands for the phase shift of minus 90 degree so which can also be expressed as an angle of minus 90 degree or 270 degree, whatever it is. That means the conduction current density lags behind the displacement current density by an angle of 90 degree. So this is what is the relation between JC and JD. We can find one from the other, but in this problem, it is asked to find only the amplitude. So we can take the magnitude first, then we can find the amplitude. The phase part is not required here for this problem, but be careful. The angle between them is 90 degrees. If that is, if one is sinusoidally varying, that is one is sine in nature, another one will be cos. The phase difference between them is 90 degree. So now let us find JD from JC, but JD required, look at this one, what is required JD? But JC not given, but IC given, we can find from it. So what I suggest is that first find JC. JC is what? Conduction current density. So current by area, take conduction current divided by area, we'll get conduction current density for uniform distribution of current. So it is given as 5.5 sine of 4 into 10 raised to 10 t micro 
apps. I guess this is the case. <clears throat> Let us check the equation before we continue. What is that one? Is 5.5 sine of what I'm correct? It's correct. So I is correct. Look at the area now. The circular area of cross section is given by this radius. Radius is 1.5 millimeter. So let us use area here. Area of circular cross section is pi r square. So 5.5 micro, the sinusoidal term. Four into ten power ten t. You can also observe here. Uh, can think of the standard form sine omega t. So omega. This problem is four into ten power ten, which can be used if required. So now pi into the radius is one point five milli. One point five milli. So R square, it is square. So that's about the conduction current density. So we can simplify this one. Using calculator, we can find this value as 0 0.778 sine of 4 into 10 power 10 t ampere. That's about JC. But JC is not required. What is required is amplitude of JD. So for that, we can use amplitude of JC. Amplitude of JC is 0.778 amps. So if you find displacement current density from JC, definitely it will be cosine, cos. So because of the 90 degree phase shift, but in this problem, it is requ not required. Let us find JD, JC by JD magnitude ratio is given by sigma by omega epsilon, but we want J D. So let us invert it. This is omega epsilon by sigma. So omega, as I said already, look at this one. This is omega T in standard form. So the J D by J C can be taken as omega means 4 into 10 raised to 10. Epsilon is epsilon naught into epsilon r. That's 8.854 into 10 power minus 12. And epsilon r is 10 given in the numeric, numerical itself. Sigma is 35 moles per meter. So now, ultimately we want JD and also we have to multiply all these things. So that is going to be 4 into 10 power 10 into 8.854 to 10 power minus 12, 10 divided by 35. JC, we shall take you to the right side, and JC is given by the previous answers that is zero point seven seven eight and sinusoidal term. So, in this problem, only amplitude is required. So the sinusoidal term is not required. We can multiply this much to get the amplitude of JD. That is going to be 78.689 milliampere per meter square. 
So what I suggest, please take this answer using your calculator before using this for further using. So that's about uh, the solution of the problem. Thank you.